It is mentioned that once upon a time, a beggar approached some non-believers and begged before them. This beggar begged and said, can you give me something to eat? Can you give me some money? I am a poor man. Those people, in other words, those kuffar, did not want to give this beggar anything. Rather, they wanted to make a joke and mock Hazrat Ali Karamallahu Ta'ala Wajhahul Kareem, who was not very far from there. So they sent this beggar and they told this beggar, why are you asking us for money? There is the rich man there. Go and ask him for money and he will give you something. So this beggar went. His motive, his intention was paisa. Kuch mil jaye, faqeer tha, he was a beggar. He begged, he did his duty. When he went before Hazrat Ali radiallahu anhu and when he stretched his hands, he raised his hands for some money. Hazrat Ali radiallahu anhu knew the intention of this beggar. And he seen that this beggar did not come on his own account, but rather he was sent by those people. So he told this beggar in a very melodious and sweet voice, Allah, 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 show me your hand. This beggar gave his hand. Hazrat Ali radiallahu anhu gripped his wrist and recited one darood upon Rasul Pak Rasulullah. One darood e Pak. Huh? One darood e Pak and he made dam. He blew on the palms of the beggar and he advised him to close his fist. Close his mutti and don't open it here, but go by them and open it. Allah, Allah, Allah. When this beggar went towards those kuffar, they started to laugh again. Ki, by blowing, phukne se, dam karne se kya hoga? If you want to give something, you need to put your hands in your pocket and give something. Phukne se kya hoga? When he went close and when he opened his palms, it is mentioned that those people saw there were 10 golden coins in his palms. According to some narration, it was one golden coin. And looking at this karamat, that through the blessings and barakah and virtues of Durud, that empty palm was filled with a golden coin. Many kuffar from there said, La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. That if this is the blessings of sending Durud upon Rasul Pak, then how barakat wala my beloved Nabi must be. Huh? If this is the blessings of sending Durud upon him, then he himself, how blessed he must be. How great he must be. Allahu Akbar. So they accepted the kalima by saying, La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. Sallu ala al-habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. We love Madani Channel. We love Madani Channel. We love Madani Channel.